Hi, this is Professor Fernandez. We are going to work on class notes A in lesson 14. So in this class notes, I would like to convert this third order ODE into a system of three first order ODEs using this substitution that we were talking about earlier in the lesson notes and also adding this new variable. So let me just remind you what that substitution was. Um, it was introducing x1 equals y, x2 equals y prime, and then this new one, x3 equals y double prime. Um, and I'll say a quick thing, you know, you probably have noticed the pattern in this substitution. Um, I am working here with a third order ODE, and I have three new x variables. And what I'm doing is x1 is always y, and then I just start differentiating y prime, y double prime. And then, you know, I stop um, with the uh, number of variables equal to the order of the ODE. So because I start with y as x1, the last variable will always be one derivative order lower than that number down here. All right, so um, this is my substitution. And then let me just show you how we use the substitution to convert this ODE into a system of ODEs. So um, I'm gonna play a little game here. So we have x1 equals y. If I differentiate x1, I get y prime. But notice that y prime is x2. So I will substitute that back in and I get my first relationship, x1 dot equals x2. And you know, as I explained in these lesson notes, dots and primes are the same thing. Dots are more of a physicist notation for derivatives, specifically with respect to time, whereas prime comes more from the Newtonian version of uh, notation for derivatives in calculus. Okay, so let's keep going here. Um, the second equation, I'm gonna take a derivative with respect to t of x2. That gives me y double prime. Um, and, and then I go back up here, uh, down here, and I see that y double prime is x3. So I'm gonna use this over here, and I get my second equation, x2 equals x3. Okay, so so far it looks like I'm just, you know, um, effectively uh, differentiating this, and then getting that, and then it's equal to this. And then differentiating this, and then, you know, getting that, and it's equal to this. Um, but this last one is gonna be different because when I differentiate x3, I get over here y triple prime. Um, I have no x4, so I can't write this as equals x4. I can't do that, I have no x4. That's one of the reasons I wanted to make sure that we went over how many x's you have and how that corresponds to the order of the ODE. Okay, I have no x4, so in order to substitute in anything for y prime, I have to go back up to the differential equation itself. And I'm gonna solve here for y triple prime. Um, so that equals <clears throat> e to the t minus y prime minus three y. So that's what I put down here. e to the t minus y prime minus three y. Okay, and at this point, you know, I've been doing everything in terms of x's. So I would like to replace these things with x's. Well, so x, uh, y prime over here on the left is x2. So this is e to the t minus x2. Um, y over here on the left is x1. So this is minus 3x1. Great. So um, to wrap up, what's my system? x1 dot equals x2, x2 dot equals x3, and x3 dot equals um, e to the t minus x2 minus 3x1. All right, so one additional thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna write this as a matrix system. So how am I gonna do that? So um, x1 dot, x2 dot, and x3 dots, I'm gonna make that into its own vector. And then equals, um, my unknowns here are x1, x2, and x3. And I do have a term which does not involve any x's in the equations, right? So that is gonna be an extra term over here. Um, I'll take care of that first because that term goes along with the third equation. Um, and again, it doesn't multiply any of the x's. So I'm just gonna put an e to the t down here. Um, there are no other functions of t on the right-hand sides of these first two equations. So I'm gonna put zero here and zero here. Okay, and then now I'm just gonna look at the coefficients in front of the terms on the right-hand side that do have x's. 
So in the first equation, on the right-hand side, I have a 1 for x2, and I have no x1 and no x3. So no x1, no x3, and a 1 for x2. Right? When I multiply this row by this column, what would I get? I would get no x1 plus x2 plus no x3. Right? And that reproduces exactly what is up here. Similar analysis for this equation. I have no x1. Let me, I guess, leave it in green. I have no x1, I have no x2, and I have one x3. And then down here for the third uh, equation, I'm looking at just this part, right? I already took care of the e to the t with this um, vector. So if I just look at this part, I have minus 3x1, so minus 3, and I have minus 1x2, and then I have no x3 term, so I'm going to put a 0 there. Okay, so this is the matrix form of this system. Um, if I put it in a more compact form, I would say vector x dot equals this particular matrix times vector x plus this vector, right? Um, where vector x equals x1, x2, x3. Great, so then, you know, um, whichever representation you would like to stick with is fine for the purposes of this problem, right? This is the system of first order ODEs we wanted to derive, and this is the matrix representation of that system.